I'm Jimmy Falcone, alias McDougal. Back when I was a capo, keeping the family business away from my actual family was a freaking tap dance. Like the time Petey got himself a girlfriend, Peppa Malazzi, face like a pizza. But we're talking Petey here, so he had to take what he could get. Problem was, her old man was one of my business associates. Listen, kid, I got a feeling Pepperoni Face is gonna break up with you. Impossible! Pepper said I was the only boy for her! Yeah, the only boy willing to kiss a meat love is special, but it ain't that. It's her old man. Are you saying her father doesn't approve of me? It's actually me he ain't big on. We had a little... disagreement. Then how do you know I'm getting dumped? Call it a hunch. Her dad was in the trunk, wasn't he? Now that we live in Canada, I don't worry about that stuff no more. But at the time, it was very stressful. Oh, boo-hoo! Pepper was my first love, and you took her away from me! I still love you, Pep! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went in dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What a movie! Those were some very realistic decapitations. Trust me. It had an uplifting message. Don't bang your girlfriend in the creepy graveyard. <laughs> All right, give me your wallet. A Canadian mugger? That's adorable. Better do what he says. Yeah, I don't think so, kid. Run! <laughs> Jesus, my son owns a rape whistle? Hey, are you running away? You chicken! Crap! I can't see nothing through this sock! <sighs> That's better. This guy... is like the Special Olympics of crime. Don't make me shoot you, old man! <laughs> Change of plans, Pinhead. Hand over your wallet. Here, take it. And take my bus pass. It's still good for six days. Ooh, Velcro. Looks like we got us a real high roller. What a schnook. Fake gun. Sock on his head. This pants. Where's the professionalism? It's punks like this who give crime a bad name. You know, Jimmy, I've been a mugger, but I've never actually been muggered myself. It's nice to know how the other half lives. That looks fun. Quit snooping, Ma. Peeking over your shoulder to see what you're doing is not snooping. Teresa Maria Falcone, is that a picture of you drinking a beer? No, it's, um, an app. It's an app to make it look like I'm drinking a beer. <gasps> and that's an app to make it look like I'm Frenching another girl while frat boys cheer us on. Teresa, why would you do something like that? You know how it is. After five beers, you're on autopilot. And flashing a policeman? That's autopilot too? No, that was tequila. He was about 5'5", five five, dark clothes, wool sock on his head. Possibly from a right foot. Something like this? Relax, McCool. We took care of the mugger. You took care of him? Well then, James Danger McDougal, in the name of the Crown, I have no choice but to place you under arrest for murder. Not today, copper. Come on, Jimmy. <clears throat> Ow. I didn't mean that kind of take care of. What's wrong with you? I meant we stopped the mugger. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because he's traumatized. Great Gowan's ghost. Petey, you're clearly in shock from your encounter with the criminal element, which is odd considering you're descended from gangsters. Nonetheless, in my estimation, the best way to confront your fear is head on. I invite you to come with me on a police ride along. Won't it be dangerous? This is Saskatchewan. It'll be safer than picking daisies. Petey, get away from there! It could explode at any second! Whoever was behind the wheel likely pried the plates off before they fled the scene. Good eye, Petey. I also found this under the seat. 
amphetamines. The driver was a willfully negligent speed freak. I'll do a rundown of the serial numbers and see if we can trace this hophead. Or you could just arrest that guy. It's not my fault! These long holes are killing me! I didn't mean to run over all those school children! School children? <clears throat> Never mind. Cover your ears, Petey. I am about to do something most un-Canadian. Wait, we don't need to use unnecessary violence. Observe. Spectacular! Physics, it's nature's policeman. Come along, little trooper. For Canada, where no one turns a blind eye to police brutality! Hey, McCool, you lost weight. Oh, what's wrong with your face? Guess who's gonna be a junior cop? What do you mean, junior cop? I signed up with the Provincial Internship Group of Law Enforcement Trainees. My only male heir is gonna be a frickin' piglet? Hey, just like Cousin Carlo. Good old Cousin Carlo. The crookedest cop in all the five boroughs. Hey, officer, stop that. I just need a parent to sign this permission form. No son of mine's joining the Bacon Brigade. McCool said you might feel this way. McCool? It's bad enough he's got me on the straight and narrow. Now he's brainwashing my boy? You got all the mentor you need right here. What am I supposed to learn from you? Plenty. Robbery, extortion, pandering. I'm like a college of wise guy knowledge. Oh, for God's sake. Here you go, sweetie. Thanks, Mom. You're letting him join the pork patrol? What kind of parent are you? He's just being a rebellious teenager. At least he's not getting drunk like his wino sister. Hey! Shut up, Rummy. Well, I ain't living with no 5-0. Don't worry, I'll make it look like an accident. Gina, no garroting your brother. When did you stop being fun? I can't believe Petey's turning his back on our way of life. He's giving up pasta? No! He's rejecting my whole family heritage. I rejected mine, too when I gutted my father like a goat. Yeah, but Gramps had it coming. I guess the wisdom of our ancestors is gonna die with me. Don't worry, Jimmy. If you die, I'll eat enough pasta for both of us. Out of the car! Oh no, not you guys again. I'll give you a head start, punk. Please, don't hurt me. I'm new at this. Oh, who am I kidding? Pathetic. I can't mug anyone. I totally blew carjacking. I'll never figure out how to be a criminal. I'll never figure out how to be a criminal. Guess who's gonna be a junior cop? Criminal. Cop. Criminal. Cop. Criminal. Come with me if you want to learn. Are you a Terminator? No, kid. I'm a learninator. Enough with the fucking rhymes, Jimmy. Who do you think you are, Mother Goose? Benny, this'll be your room. Wow. No one's ever been this nice to me. Thanks, Mr. Jimmy. This is nice, Jimmy. You're really giving back to the community. If Petey don't want my pearls of gangsterly wisdom, then I'll pass them on to Benny over there. Jimmy, I don't often throw around words like hero, so I won't. I'm just a simple man trying to make the world a worse place, one kid at a time. Full of 
love, Grace. Help me with my daughter's booze problem. That's good. Booze problem? Try raising a teenager with the power to turn water into wine. Oh, mama mia, bathtub was permanently stained purple. Jesus was a lush? It got so bad we had to put him in AAA. Ancient Alcoholics Anonymous. Didn't work. Little punk refused to acknowledge a higher power. No way, Ma. I am the higher power. God, the ego on this kid. So what did you do? I took him down to the Dead Sea and said, you turn that into wine and drink every drop. He chugged it like a champ. Then he punched a centurion, trashed the temple, and ran off with a whore from Babylon. But he never got drunk again. Wow. The things they left out of the Bible. No kidding. Like his brother Rusty. What? And I've said too much. Sorry, Petey. I know paperwork is dull, but it's a big part of law enforcement. Oh, I love paperwork. In fact, I just solved some cold cases. Which ones? All of them. Sweet Da Vinci's inquest. You solved 27 years of cold cases? I can see how they baffle a less intelligent cop, but it's all in a day's work for Junior Officer <laughs> Petey McNugger! He's not with me. Teresa, we need to talk. Whoa, that is not mine. It is now. You are going to sit here and drink this until you learn the terrible things alcohol does to a person. Works for me. Cheers. That's it. Drink it up, Alki. After I'm through with you, you'll never want to look at liquor again. Hmm. Is this a Chianti? It's nice. You want some? Well, since it's already open. Did I ever tell you how Gina happened? Your father got home from stabbing Frederico the Fink. And let me tell you, <laughs> he wasn't through poking stuff. Make it stop, make it stop! If you're gonna hide out in Mexico, stay away from the senioritas. Before you know it, you'll have eight kids in a job cutting lawns in El Paso. What the hell is this now? It's my mule. McCool lent him to me for being a junior super cop. Congratulations. An ass for an ass. Ha! <laughs> Good one, Mr. Jimmy. Uh, who are you? Well, since you're so busy being super cop, I decided to mentor this wayward kid. I gotta take a dump. That Mr. Jimmy's such a great guy. You're lucky he's your dad. Listen, Bernie, is it? You probably think you're special to my dad. But he's using you, just like he used Cheech's Mexican stepkids to work his lawn care racket in El Paso. Papa Cheech, please don't go back to New York. Get back to work. So Mr. Jimmy's just using me? Why? To get back at me. And once he's done, he'll drop you right back in the gutter. Tell him not to bother. I can drop myself in the gutter. <laughs> Ma, you should not be driving. Shut up. I'm going to the store for wine. And breath mints, in case I get pulled over. Ma'am, have you been drinking? I'm fine. Step out of the vehicle, ma'am. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ma'am, you're under arrest for drunk driving. What the hell are you doing? Sir, I have the situation under control. I need you to step back. I'm gonna step into your ass if you don't take off those bracelets. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it burns! You were warned, sir. Petey, you should be ashamed busting your own mother and father. I was just following procedure. You threatened an officer of the law. Do the crime, do the time, Pop. <laughs> what are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. A Petey! <laughs> this is madness! Following the letter of the law is one thing, but pepper spraying your own father... Twice! ...is conduct unbecoming a piglet. You are so done playing CSI Regina. No, I'm not. Mom signed the permission form. I can be a piglet as long as I want. Permission revoked. Come on, Jimmy. Mama wants a cheeseburger. 
Sorry, Petey. I'll need your hat, uniform, and badge. And your mule. <laughs> what the hell? Is it just me, or is the house roomier? Holy crap! Benny friggin' robbed us! The kid learned good. <laughs> they even took the vent covers. I am so proud of that thieving, lying, low-down, dirty bastard. Too bad I gotta kill him. Betty stole my laptop! Benny stole all my shoes! Benny stole my Dora DVDs! What? I gotta hablo espanol for when I deal with the cartels. Benny didn't take none of my stuff. My eight tracks and thigh master are right where I left them. Too bad you got me kicked off the force or I'd totally catch him and get our stuff back. Don't even talk to me, Pepper Spray Patty. Fine! Enjoy sitting on your invisible couch watching invisible TV. What's he talking about? I don't see no invisible couch. What happened last night? Did I do this? No, but you did do this. Quit judging me! Jesus, Mary and Joseph, what kind of role model am I? I don't know, Ma. You tell me. <laughs> I can't believe Benny stole from me after I treated him like my own son. You treat your own son like crap. Well, there you go. I treated him better than my own son. We don't need Petey to find this clown. We'll do it our way. Where's Benny? Who? Where's Benny? What's a Benny? Where's Benny? Ah, sh Sorry, sister. Such language! Oh! You know, Jimmy, as nuns go, she was actually pretty, uh, gentle. <laughs> Petey, I decided to forgive you for pepper spraying me. Can't find Benny, huh? I'm out of leads on this one. I can't help you. I'm not a junior cop anymore. From what I heard, you were the best junior cop this town's ever seen. Where'd you hear that? Down at the station, when I was signing you back up for Piglet. Really? That's awesome! Wait a minute. You're not using me to get back at Benny, are you? Maybe a little. Well, good, because I want to bust that son of a bitch. But if we're going to do this, we do it my way, by the book. You got it. This is going to be great, just you and me. It'll be like an 80s buddy cop movie. He's a hotshot mini cop with a mega mind. He's a retired wise guy who just wants his couch back. Chief, I ain't this kid's babysitter. No, you're his new partner. You, do it more by the book. You, do it less by the book. Ah! Jimmy Falcone, Petey Falcone, in Jimmy's Way. Petey's Law. Jimmy's Way. Petey's Law. Fine, Jimmy's Way. All right, we agree on a title. Now let's quit wasting time and catch this guy. <laughs> Oh, God. This goddamn headache. Time to rub it in, huh? Well, go on. Tell your mother what an ass she made of herself. Actually, seeing you wasted was a real eye-opener. I can see how drinking too much can turn someone into a total loser. A total loser? Really? You mean it? Ma, I swear, no booze until I'm 19. 21. We're in Canada. It's 19 here. 18 if I go to Manitoba. In Quebec, it's like 12. You go have fun. But if a frat boy gives you a drink, make him take the first sip. Thanks, Ma. 12? Man, them French know how to live. I can't believe you tracked Benny down so fast. How'd you do it? Forensics? Informants? You hire a psychic? <laughs> no, I found them selling our stuff on Craigslist. Way to go, Columbo. And... My outfit's essential to the plan, right? Because if not, you're grounded. You must be Ingmar and Brunhilde. Brunhilde? Yeah, you're grounded. 
Which one of you is Ingmar? Yeah, yeah, that's me. My wife and I are looking to buy an entire house full of stuff. I got a house full of stuff to sell. A lot of this stuff is tacky crap, so I'll give it to you cheap. Yeah. You agreed. Buy the book. Oh, right. Sorry, son. <gasps> Mr. Jimmy! Ow! That hurt! Hey, I taught him that move. Pop, he's getting away. Don't worry. I got this. Oh, Petey, you're brilliant. It's just like that game with the mousetrap. What's it called? Oh! Mousetrap! Petey, no! Do it by the book! Screw the book. This time, it's personal. Wasn't it always personal? Come on, take the shot. <laughs> I can't do it! Good for you, kid. He's a dumbass punk, but he don't deserve to die. You did the right thing. He could walk away from that. Maybe not. Pop, stay with me. Pop? Pop! We're not that different. Sure, I'll never be a crook, but... I'm still your son, Pop. Pop? Pop! Boo! Knock it off, Cheech. It ain't funny anymore. All right, Doc says I can go. That was some interesting police work, Jimmy. It was all Petey. And he would have brought Benny in if that plane hadn't somehow got to him first. So, McCool, you gonna give him his mule back? Yes, about that. Unfortunately, Petey won't be reinstated as a piglet. What? He was so good, he was making the other cops look bad. And that's my job. <laughs> no one laughed at work, either. That's okay. I think I've had enough of police work. And let's face it, cops don't earn shit. <laughs> <laughs>